Hey guys, welcome back to my second video. I just want to start off by thanking everybody for watching and liking and sharing my first video and all of that support. That was absolutely incredible and I'm happy now to be here making my second video for you guys. As you can probably tell by the title, my second video is on how to get that hourglass shape that every girl kind of dreams about. You know, like the small waist, the legs, the butt, just everything like that. Um, I want to start by telling you guys that it does boil down to genetics. Um, I don't want anybody to think I'm being misleading when they don't have, you know, that um, like small Kim Kardashian waist and those big hips and the big butt and everything like that. It is mostly based on your bone structure and what body type you have, but there are ways that you can change I don't want to say change, but you can sculpt your body through your diet and through, you know, workouts at the gym and lifting weights and things like that. So I just want to give you guys a few tips that I've used that have worked for me because before I got into lifting, I was not genetically blessed with a shape like that. I didn't have hips, I didn't have a small waist or a butt. Um, I was always naturally thin, so I kind of just did have that like stick figure shape. But through my diet and through lifting when I found the gym and all that, I was able to sculpt my body um, and it's been like really rewarding. So I want to share those tips with you guys. So I'm going to get started. Um, my first tip would be diet. Um, the lower body fat percentage you have, the smaller waist you're going to have. So. Eating clean and things like lean meat, um, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates. So like chicken, um, healthy fats such as, you know, peanut butter, nuts, olive oils, and complex carbohydrates like brown rice and oats. And those type of foods are going to significantly um, change your body. I know as soon as I cleaned up my diet and I cut all the junk out, all the fast food, you know, the cupcakes, things like that, I did notice a change. And not even just that, it didn't even have to do with body fat percentage at that point. It was just the way my body like reacted to having those healthy foods rather than all the junk and me being like bloated all the time and things like that. It did make my waist look smaller, my stomach look more toned, which leads me to my second tip. Um, I don't like to say tone your stomach because I know every girl out there is just like, Oh, I just want to tone. But, you know, building your abs and your your muscles there will make your waist appear smaller, um, which goes along with, you know, the lower body fat percentage. And just um, toning your stomach. If you guys want, I can make an ad video for you guys and give you, like, my diet tips and my ad workouts. So if that's something you guys are interested in, uh, just leave a like below and I can get that up for you guys and show you the things that have worked for me. So yeah, things like, you know, crunches and, you know, um, leg lifts and just building your ab muscles a little bit um, along with dieting will make your waist appear smaller. Um, and then my t last tip, I'm going to kind of combine like three things in one. But building your legs, building your lats, which is your back, and building your shoulders will give you that hourglass shape. If you build your shoulders and your lats, you're going to appear bigger on top, and then your waist will appear smaller. And if you build your legs, like your glutes, um, your hamstrings, your quads, you are going to appear you know, more full at the bottom, and that will give you that hourglass shape. I know when I tell you girls to build your lats and build your shoulders, that probably like scares the hell out of like 99% of you because girls have this big misconception that they're going to get too bulky or they're going to look too manly so they don't want to lift weights. I want to tell you guys that you do not have like the same makeup as a guy, you know, the same hormones and everything like that. So no matter how much you lift, it is going to take years and years and years before you ever get to a point that you may feel like uncomfortable at. Um, take it from me, all lifting has done is give me a more feminine body shape. I build my glutes and my legs and I build my upper body so my waist appears smaller and not once have I ever felt, you know, too bulky. I've been like lifting 
probably consistently for about almost a year. I know I did say in my last video I got more consistent in March, but I started like around January. Um, and that's when I started putting on weight and building muscle. And I'm still looking to build more muscle. Like a year into it, like I'm still not satisfied because muscle takes so long to build. So you are never going to appear too big or too bulky. That is just a complete, you know, common misconception that I know a lot of girls have and they just are looking to tone. But building muscle is going to give you a more feminine body shape. You know, like I said, with those shoulders and the lats, you will have that hourglass figure. Um, if you guys are interested in learning how to build your legs and your glutes, you can look at my first video, which is a full leg day routine. And I'm definitely going to do more of those for you guys because I know like a lot of you guys are interested in that. And again, like I said, if you are interested in my ab day workouts and my dieting tips, just leave a like below and I can get that up for you guys like probably by next week. Um, so yeah, those are my tips and tips that have helped me attain that hourglass figure, you know, the small waist, the legs, the butt, the, you know, the bigger upper body, but, um, those are just tips that I personally use, and I'm gonna head to the gym, and I'm gonna show you guys my back day workout, um, honestly, back day is probably my favorite day, like, I love to train my back, and I love the results of, you know, having that bigger upper body and the bigger glutes and legs and having that small waist so I'm going to show you guys that because I know a lot of girls are afraid to train their upper body and fear that they'll get too big but I want to show you guys that it is completely okay to train your upper body um it's not going to make you too bulky and it will give you a feminine shape so I want to show that to you guys so stay tuned for the second half of this video um thank you for watching um let me know if you guys would like to see that ad video or if you guys have any other things you'd like to see, you can drop it in the comments below or you can email me or message me on any of my social media. I believe I have that in the description box. So yeah, let me know. Thank you for watching. Um, I really appreciate it. Stay tuned. Bye.